Hey, what's going on? Um, I just started the game, playing the game again. Wait, let me f mute my sound. All right, so yeah, let's do this. We're gonna go into round 50 here on Thank Moon. You. This is my highest round on YouTube with proof, um, or joint highest. But my actual highest is 68. But I've not gone singing. 68 is my highest round. 68, 68, 68. Because um, the fact that I didn't upload it, that wasn't my aim. My aim was 100. So when I got 68, I was just disappointed with myself. And this was a long time ago, like a really, really long time ago. So that for me really should have been something I was happy with. But I'm just going to give you a quick update on how this game's gone so far. Basically, um, I've had. I let Tunnel 6 go because I was trying to trap the, e the Cosmonaut, but I accidentally trapped myself because I didn't quite hear the lady right. I accidentally trapped myself. So I had to go out the back way. So basically, trapping the Cosmonaut would have been pretty much impossible to do at this point. So instead, what I've decided to do is I just ran the biodome. It's safe strategy anyway. So what's wrong with it? But oh god, I just remembered something. Wait, give me a sec, guys. I need to turn my volume down so I can actually hear if there is an excavator, just in case. But yes, yeah, since then that tunnel has just been complete Treyarch in this. Basically, every time I hack it, it does fuck all. And um, on round 47, it told me that it was going to Tunnel 6, and then I went to Tunnel 6, and nothing ha was happening. So I couldn't hack it because nothing was happening to it. But oh well. So we're now on round 50, and we're going to have to try and get Max Ammo in a second. And you guys will see how I do this. It It's a pretty simple um, way. It's probably what everyone does, so it's nothing special, to be honest. But. Anyway, so this is what I do. I just pack them up and shoot them. I will just run any sp any of three spots in the biodome. It's not very complicated to run in this uh, massive area. I, I can basically run trains anywhere in here. Like, I could run here. I could run anywhere, really. Um, it, as long as I'm in the biodome, it's just simple. S so, this is actually a pretty easy map. It's really overestimated in difficulty. Oh shit, okay, maybe not. I did just say I can train that and I have been doing it, so please believe me. But um but yeah, it's a really overestimated map in how hard it is because like people at school have started working out that I'm pretty pretty beast compared to the average as zombies and quite a people have actually started asking to play with me. Um but one of the maps that they'll say is moon, I'll say sixty eight and then they'll be like, How? It's moon I'm like it's really not that hard. I don't get where it's. It, it's probably one of the difficult maps. That's not a word, is it? But it's definitely not the hardest. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run him over here and then I'm going to um, lob a Gersh and then we'll try and get a drop from these mother truckers. If we don't, uh, then we'll lob another Gersh and then we'll lob another Gersh and then we'll lob an. I'm pretty sure Matt Gersh is dead point. And then I'll be fucked. But it doesn't take that long. As you can see, look, because I've been using um, just the wave gun to kill. Basically, that means that for those of you who don't know, wave gun won't get drops, thunder gun won't get drops, baby maker from Shangri-La won't get drops, and thunder Arf won't get drops. Oh no, the baby gun will get drops. That's like the only one. Scavenger won't get drops. VR11 won't get drops. Wave gun and thunder gun. I feel like I'm missing one out. Winter's how will not get drops. So basically that means that because all the drops have been building up in that time that you've been using your wave gun, um, when you lob a Gersh you're almost certain to get a drop and if you don't the first time then you will the second. So that's how it works and then all you have to do is use the hacking device which is on the moon um, and you just hack the drop and get yourself a max ammo. Sexy, sexy bitch for a max ammo. But yeah that's basically how I've been getting my ammo instead of trading it out like you would on most maps. Plus there's no dogs so that's the only real only real way to be getting the max ammos. So yeah, I'm just gonna record this whole round and with a live comp just so you guys can see how I go through my rounds at this point. because um, it's really not that difficult. It's really overestimated as how difficult it is. And I think anyone could really do this to be honest. Um, as long as you've got basic knowledge of zombie skills like what gaps you can get through, what gaps you can't get through, how to make a gap for yourself and hopefully I'll be able to show that at one point in this video. Yeah. But I am going to say I'm a bit bunged up and I'm a bit tired so um, I've actually got swine flu, it's legit I swear, and bird flu and um, 
and mad cow disease all at the same time. So if I don't sound perfect through the mic, I'm sorry, that's me. But yeah, anyways, uh, so hopefully I'll be able to show you some like duking, in which just shows like what I mean by that. Because sometimes the gap won't be there, so there is something that you can do. Like you just sit back slightly like this, and then you just wait until the gap is there. But it's, it's really hard to explain unless you've actually got video of you doing it. But I don't think I'm gonna need to do it this game, which is annoying. Oh, well, this round. Well, we'll see, because I'm live commenting, I'm not really concentrating on my moves. Concentrating more on thinking of stuff to say. <laughs> That's how my live comms work, baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, this isn't a serious game. Um, I'm gonna be ending this as soon as I get FIFA 13 tomorrow, which is gonna be super awesome, because I really want my FIFA 13. Um, I'm going down the shop at about 9, getting some money, um, giving it to my dad, then he's going to go down to the shops and buy it for me. And uh, in between the time that he's getting it, I'll just finish off this game, just play, and then whatever round I get to when he gets back, that's when I'll end it. If I'm like close to a landmark, obviously I'll keep going. But pretty much this is going to be uh, just it. It's not a serious game. I'm probably going to try and get 70. Like, I'd really like to get 70, I think that would be a perfectly good round and a really, something that will make me feel happy because then my highest round will be on YouTube which will be helpful. Or I could just go for 69 for obvious reasons and if you don't get the obvious reasons, um, look it up. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, as you can see we've hit 5,000 kills. Um, on this map you'll tend to hit that on round 50 no matter what. Um, you'll probably hit that on most maps that are like this with the no dogs. So that's Call of the Dead, Shang and Moon. But yeah, I really like this map. But the only problem is it's it's a bit annoying because you're worrying about if you're going to get a drop from your Gersh. You almost always do, but you do know that sometimes it won't. Also, I'm worrying about the Cosmo, which I know I can fix, but it just didn't work for me, to be honest. Um, I'm also worried about getting Trey out because this map isn't a reliable map, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's not a very reliable map, so I do tend to get Trey out a lot in this map. Like this game, like hacking Tunnel 6 just doesn't do anything. Like you'll see the XP actually go away and then when you go back to, to the receiving bay, uh, when it's got it, then it'll just be there and you'll be like, I could have thought I just saw this going in the complete opposite direction, but okay. But if that's what you want to be like, that's what you're gonna be like. But yeah, anyway, this is one of my first games that's first game in ages that's actually on Xbox because I'm a PS3 player, I prefer PS3. But I'm not bad for the Xbox control. I'm perfectly used to both of them because I've used both consoles a lot in the past. Like originally, I had a PS1, then I had a PS2. Then I got the Xbox 360, then I got a PS3, because all my friends had a PS3, and that's how it worked. So I'm perfectly good with both controls, I can use them both just as well as each other. I've got no problems with either. Um, yeah, I don't know how long my rounds are at this point, so I don't know how long this video is going to go on for. Probably about 50 minutes, to be honest. But um, you'll see, because at the bottom bar for YouTube thing. But, Anyways, uh, something else I can talk about is in about three weeks time I'm going to be doing a Ascension high round run and I'm going to try and get to as high round as I can, hopefully beat my current best of 155. Hopefully I can do that because that would just be awesome to us. But we'll see when we, we'll, we'll see if I can manage it and if not then oh well. But at the moment I'm concentrating on this moon game trying to get to a uh, good 70. It, I really want to get 70 because I think that will be a really big achievement for me. Just because I've never been to it on this map before and it's one of the maps that I have the lowest round on. And yeah, I just want to try and beat that. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. We shall see how this goes. Um, I'm going to upload this tonight. So yeah, content that's coming up. It's going to be so good, guys. I'm looking at one to two Call of Duty Zombies videos a day. Those will be continuing with his Moabs on the channel. Um, we both have FIFA 13 now, so I'm definitely going to be doing a road to Premier League using the true blue army, Leicester City, as well as this. Um, we're also thinking about doing a dual season. We'll, we'll probably do that at a low Premier League team, like, I don't know, like, uh, Sunderland or something like that. 
It'll be super cool. Me and Lurich get on really well, and FIFA should be awesome as a two-player thing. And I believe this is the end of the round. Yes, it is. So this isn't. This is something I haven't actually done since round, like round 40. So I want to see if it still works. Can I still? No. Oh, ho, ho. can I still kill them using my Reagan? This is how powerful the Reagan is, guys. I haven't managed to pack them shit because. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you only half hack something and then you get it, like you get this really annoying audio glitch where it's like beep 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 and I got that. And the only way to fix this is to hack something, so I hack the box um, that's closest and it got rid of it but it also gave me a Reagan <laughs> and I was like, fuck it, I'm not gonna say no to a Reagan and obviously I'd already packed them to this point. And I can't go to No Man's Land because I've got it perfectly set up so that next time I go it'll be jug, so if I do down and it's all good. But yeah, basically, that was round 50. Um, I'll do another update, but it won't be quite like this at round 60. But yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and um, look for the finale on my screen, on the, uh, my channel. As well as look up my 155 Ascension, 151 Doris, and 132 Kino. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Bye! 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 Bye!